A big day in Blacksburg and for Hokies men's basketball as this area welcomes home the next coach of the Hokies, Coach Mike Young. And Coach, let me be the 2000s to say welcome back to the New River Valley. We're really excited that you're here. Thank you very much. I am uh, so excited to uh, be at Virginia Tech, to be home, and um, excited to represent this great university uh, as uh, the next basketball coach. Outside of your roots here, which of course I'm sure made this attractive, what else about where this program is, what it's experienced recently and in the past in your childhood yeah. made this the perfect opportunity for you to leave a place that you had obviously built? I, um, you know, and I consider, you know, what's uh, been accomplished here over the last uh, couple of years. Um, you know, Virginia Tech is a world class university. Um, uh, kids are, do very well with uh, a degree from here. Uh, the facilities are, you know, are, are just exceptional. Um, you know, the Atlantic Coast Conference, the best basketball conference, and uh, you know that uh, that college basketball has to uh, has to offer. Um, so many things uh, that uh, were appealing uh, to me as I began. You know, the process of evaluating uh, was this um, a fit or not. I, I understood very quickly that um, it was something that I was extremely excited about, and it's uh, just a treat to be here. Coach, what have the last few days been like for you? Not the interview specifics, but just informing your family and your team and then meeting your new team here in Blacksburg. Well, uh, Mr. Babcock and uh, Mr. Boleyn uh, could not have been finer to uh, – to deal with so professional and uh, made it easy for uh, for us. My family uh, had an opportunity to meet with uh, President San, uh, Sands yesterday, and uh, he was uh, welcoming and uh, such a, a nice gentleman. That was a pleasure, uh, but it has been uh, it has been hectic. That there's just no no there's no way around it. I mean that's just the way these uh, these work. Uh, but uh, you do the best you can and you evaluate and. Hope that there's an opportunity there. Fortunately for me, there uh, there was, and uh, you know, again, so excited to be uh, to be the basketball coach of Virginia Tech. Coach, there's one thing that I know coaches love to do. It's to do interviews like these. Oh. No, no, it's to it's to coach, of course. As you look at the the coming days and weeks and even months, uh, you know, how do you prioritize what you'd like to accomplish? And we're still getting all that uh, down, um, you know, day by day. And getting a little bit better every day. I am so excited about getting out of here and meeting with our team. And I hope to get on the floor with our team at some point tonight. Uh, know nothing about where they are physically or that sort of thing. Um, we'll get our strength program up and running uh, with, um, you know, a young man that's coming to campus tomorrow, Tuesday, maybe Wednesday. Uh, we'll get that uh, component uh, up and running. But um, I want to get with our team. That's that's Virginia Tech basketball is our our uh, our team, and um, day by day, getting a little bit better. Skill development, uh, working with them in the rate, uh, in the weight room, and uh, you know, continue to ensure that they are uh, you know doing what's expected of them in the classroom. Coach, I know you've been more than willing to adapt to the strengths of your personnel yeah. in given years, and I think that's always a, a successful approach. And I know you're not a big analytics guy like, like a lot of the folks <laughs> today, but with that said, uh, what are some of the core principles that Hokie fans will recognize immediately in a Coach Young-led basketball team? Um, you know, I, I don't think there's any secrets. A team that is going to compete and a, a team that's going to you know, display a willingness to defend and rebound at a really high level each and every night. Offensively, a team that uh, will share, uh, is not going to turn the ball over, um, understands the roles. I uh, would like to have a number of kids that shoot. I think uh, teams that uh, lack this Virginia Tech team from this past year had a number of kids that could really shoot the leather off of it, and that was uh, exciting to uh, to watch. I, have always gravitated to young men that can uh, that can shoot the ball, um, but kids that want to be a part of something that's bigger than than themselves individually, and you know that uh, process begins uh, now, and look forward to putting it all together. 
Coach, you've had some signature wins at Wofford, and you come off such a massively successful season. But you also told a number of tales of your childhood, walking across that blustery parking lot. We know all about that, of course, into Castle Coliseum and, and seeing that building rock. Uh, you know, how much is it going to be a benefit to play some of those blue blood programs <laughs> in your own house rather than having to go on the road? Uh, you know, we beat Georgia Tech at home. Uh, just impossible to get those guys to come to your place. Uh, so it will be you know, uh, fun to have, uh, you know, a number of great teams in uh, into Blacksburg and Castle Coliseum. Um, you know, childhood dream to uh, to coach here, needless to say. Uh, grand memories of, uh, you know, my basketball experiences as a boy coming over with, uh, with my dad and a couple of friends and, you know, coming by the will call window. It's still there. I saw it yesterday. And, um, you know, coming in, I can still smell the building. I can still smell uh, the popcorn in those uh, concession stands. It's, um, it smells like basketball. It feels like basketball with that walk across the parking lot. And then you enter, you know, the, uh, the bowl, and um, I think it's as exciting and as great a place for college basketball as there is. And, you know, to be able to call it home, to be able to uh, – you know, recognize that I'm the basketball coach here at Virginia Tech is is uh, is thrilling. Coach, you were greeted by a couple of football coaches, the current one, Coach Fuente, and, of course, Coach Beamer. Uh, your tenure actually at Wofford longer. Not, not too many coaches can say that yeah. than Coach Beamer. What was that like to get that reception uh, from those guys in the athletic department? As kind well? and class. Um, you know, uh, Coach Beamer and what he accomplished here with uh, Virginia Tech, you know, football program. My dad um, had coached football at Dublin when uh, Coach Beamer was at uh, Radford and before moving on. I think he went to Citadel next. My dad, I've heard my dad say many times that Frank Beamer changed this region in terms of traffic, in terms of, you know, a number of uh, uh, things, Lane Stadium. Um, you know, he changed it. He altered the course of history with uh, his teams and how his teams played. Um, I really look forward to having an opportunity to spend uh, time with him. Uh, his significance in this community is, you know, speaks for itself and awfully kind of him being over here and, and Coach Fuentes and, you know, him taking the time to come over in the midst of his spring practice. Um, I have heard nothing but quality things about uh, him. Uh, Bud Foster came over. Uh, guys are like uh, heroes, you know, to watch them and their teams compete. Anytime I see teams, you know, play with toughness and, and compete as, uh, you know, Bud's teams do, uh, Justin's teams, Coach Beamer's teams, uh, that, that, that excites me. And um, kind of those guys to come over and share and uh, visit for a moment. Nice to see Coach Moyer out there, um, one of the all-time great uh, Virginia Tech coaches and Know his son Paige very well. Um, at an appropriate time, I'll uh, head down to Roanoke and uh, pick Coach up and take him out to lunch and um, talk to him about uh, his experience here and you know how it's changed. But um, there are a lot of great resources in this uh, area for Mike Young, and I look forward to making use of uh, each and every one of them. Just a couple more for the new coach of the Hokies, Mike Young. And, Coach, you touched on regionally, <laughs> Coach Beamer changing that and changed the map in a lot of ways, recruiting uh, without going into too much depth in terms of the plan of, of building this basketball team and program. It's, it starts with the Commonwealth in this region, correct? There's not a question in my mind. You have to do a job in your state. Um, you know, and uh, this has always been – you know, a state recognized as a, a really, really good basketball state when you consider, you know, Oak Hill to the southwest and Richmond is is outstanding, Northern Virginia. Roanoke has produced some very good uh, basketball players through the years. We're all aware of, uh, you know, the quality that's come out of um, uh, the Star City, uh, certainly the Tidewater and where Virginia Tech football has uh, made uh, incredible headway and has had so many great uh, ball players. Um, you know, we'll recruit it, uh, envelop it. We'll do everything we can uh, to uh, get the best and the, the uh, sharpest kids from uh, our home state 
to, uh, to Virginia Tech, and then from there we'll branch out and um, you know, have a recruiting footprint that we can manage at the same time being enough uh, you know, good, good areas where uh, you know, we can um, you know, continue to get uh, really good players. Last one for Coach Mike Young as he arrives here in Blacksburg today along with the new chapter of Virginia Tech basketball. Coach, you've mentioned that this is, is a dream, maybe bigger than the dream, to, to lead this program in this region. Is this something that you sit and say, you know, if, if someday this happens, then I'm going to go get that guy? Or uh, is it something that's evolved over your many years in coaching? Something that's evolved. Uh, it's, it's evolved. I, you know, be where your feet are. My feet have been in Spartanburg for 30 years. Uh, have I catch myself, you know, you know, momentarily considering walking into Castle Coliseum as a basketball coach? I'm sure I have at some point. But um, uh, I've had what I thought was the best job in college coaching over the last uh, 30 years. As of today, I, I know I have the best uh, job in college coaching coaching my, uh, you know, my team, my, uh, uh, my family's team, the, the, the Hokies of uh, Virginia Tech. And I can't begin to tell you how thrilling an opportunity it is and uh, will be. I'm uh, so looking forward to it. Coach, we can't tell you, and I'll speak on behalf of Hokie Nation, how happy we are that your feet are here. Welcome once again to Blacksburg. Thank you very much. Good visiting with you. Good visit as well. He is the head coach of the Hokies, Mike Young. Big day for Blacksburg, Virginia Tech Athletics, and Virginia Tech Basketball.